Hey guys, Carlos here from Angler's Lifestyle. Uh, we're here at Don Castro and we're celebrating Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day uh, for you uh, servicemen out there. Thank you for your service. Anyway, uh, it's been a while since we've actually fished uh, Don Castro uh, here at Hayward. And uh, you know, it looks like the landscape had changed a little bit. Um, water line looks like it's um, slightly higher. I'm not quite sure what it is. It may be because I just haven't been here for quite some time. But uh, the landscape looks a little bit different. So let me go ahead and pan around so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, the lake actually looks uh, slightly cleaner too um, as far as uh, vegetation and maybe debris and all that. So let me go ahead and give you a quick pan around. Uh, I'm here at the dock. But uh, like this area for example, it looks like that because the water line uh, is slightly higher and seems like the debris is cleaner. So I don't know if they actually dredged it and clean it. But uh, you know it looks uh, pretty uh, nice and clean here. It looks slightly different to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just that I haven't fished here for quite some time. But uh, anyway, I'm fishing here and the conditions are really nice today. There hasn't been a, a, a lot of wind. Um, uh, but uh, you know that uh, to, that's to our demise as well and as you know it's full moon so the question is I've al always often wonder about uh, fishing during a full moon and uh, I always say hey you know <laughs> when it's full moon out there why fish because you have no chance uh, fish will be eating all night but Don Castro the water is quite murky so if you look at the water here okay uh, it's quite murky so what are the chances of them eating uh, all night and seeing the moon using the moonlight as a uh, uh, essentially as a cast over so they can see what they're eating at nighttime of course and that goes for trout and catfish uh, but anyway uh, uh, again uh, we're uh, trying our luck here at the uh, Don Castro and uh, so far we've been doing pretty good let me go ahead and show you our first catch this morning Janet Yeah, go get the net. Oh, you have one? Okay. Come on. First catch of the morning. And here it comes. Yeah, baby. Oop. Nice. Yeehaw. Oh, good eating size. Yep. Good eating size. Thank One you very much. Half. Let me go get the... Uh, One and a half pounds. Yeah, we got lucky this morning. Lucky. Is our bait? Yes. Okay. Our bait. I like this size. This size is good tasting. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Oh no. There we go. Alright. There we go. First catch the morning. It's power bait. High 
So that first catch uh, came in uh, not even 15-20 minutes uh, of our arrival and uh, just using a garlic power bait. Uh, but the key here at Don Castro is, uh, I, think, I believe the deepest uh, area uh, here is about six feet. And so honestly, a 12 inch liter is uh, more than enough to use. So the fish is probably hovering uh, closer to the bottom or at least hugging the bottom. Uh, but uh, we continue to fish uh, using that same rig. Like I said, you've got your uh, 12 inch leader. I've got a number 10 hook uh, connected to a snap swivel, a bead, and a uh, three quarter ounce um, sliding uh, uh, steel bullet weight. So let me go ahead and continue fishing and let me show you if I catch something else. Stay tuned. Yep, that would be good. No, he's not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, you and me, buddy. Wait. Wait. There we go. Landed. Now oh, they're the same size. Yep. We'll go drag it over there. We'll clean his uh, body with the. <laughs> nice. Just like that. He caught the fish, I just brought it in. <laughs> That's what my brother-in-law says. Cause he more fishes a lot too. I have a hook release if you want to use that one. No, I, I, it's okay. I, I, I'm all right. Oop. These Oop. trout that have been coming out here are so pretty. Got it. Okay, so what happened there is that garlic power bait that has been sitting in that leader, I said to myself, okay, it's been there for a while, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up that line and recast it. Sometimes that's the key. When the uh, lake is uh, murky like this, uh, just changing the position actually works. Needless to say, Don Castro is a very, very challenging lake. Uh, you know, if you can catch a couple, you know, you're actually doing very well. If you can catch one, uh, you're definitely doing well. Uh, sometimes it's just really rough. Um, but the, there was a confirmed plan uh, uh, about a week ago and uh, fish has been sitting here for quite, for quite some time and I think they're about the same size that uh, the fish that we pulled uh, thus far it's about uh, probably a pound and a half or at least some of the locals are saying that that's the weight of that fish. Somebody has contacted me in the channel and said that uh, you know they're just starting out uh, fishing and uh, their friends are catching fish and they're not. So uh, again th the thing is as far as uh, trout fishing it's just a matter of um, bait presentation first of the, first of all you got to watch what the locals are doing number two you got to watch uh, what type of bait they're using and then similarly you have to uh, sort of get a uh, uh, understanding of what that lake is where the deep areas are and uh, make sure that you actually have two rods so you can cover uh, the short and then the far end and actually cast far so anyway, um, that's my uh, tip for you guys, is, uh, for, especially for you just starting out. Uh, don't get too bogged down on gear and stuff like that. Go simple, you know, you just need a good uh, medium power or medium light power type of rod that's about six or seven footer and it has a good uh, tip action. So when that uh, trout hits, when you're bottom fishing, uh, you know, immediately that snap back would uh, give you an indication that there's fish on the line. Or in our, in our 
partic my particular case, use a bobber, okay, to uh, give you a visual indication. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and continue fishing and hopefully we'll uh, land a few more. So stay tuned. So anyway, this is the setup that I've been doing this morning. I've got the sliding bullet weight. That's like a three quarter ounce. I've got the bead. You've got your snap swivel and you've got 12 inches of leader line uh, fluorocarbon here. This is the vanish. And then you've got garlic on a number 10 hook. So, so far that's working. You got two already. So we're gonna go ahead and try it again. Okay guys, so we've been fishing Don Castro for quite a few hours now and after that second uh, fish that we pulled up uh, we haven't caught uh, many yet but uh, before I uh, go I wanted to first of all uh, give a kudos to Junior and say hey Junior here's your carp video stay tuned all right so we're here at Don Castro and Junior's been fishing for carp so I think he may have carp <clears throat> he was using corn and look at the intensity on his face look look <laughs> here comes the carp it's fighting oh my god <laughs> go junior go holy moly <clears throat> let's see oh yeah that's a good one junior is it carp or is it catfish I don't know. You know? Oh, uh, I don't know. He's. <laughs> yeah, he's a scrapper. <coughs> oh, yeah. Come on, baby. It's a big guy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, look at that. Hey Janet, watch those, uh, watch our lines. I can't keep it. So why name it? I can't keep it. <laughs> oh, look at him. All right, Junior. Hey, that's a good idea. Don. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, an, it's a standard grass carp. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh he's a big one. Junior, <laughs> just walk back. Just walk backwards. I'm not. I'm just trying to follow where your line is. It's too far still. Nope, too far still. Eventually he'll come. He'll come eventually. Look at this carp. That's a nice looking carp. He went under. Oh, oh no, he's right there. Got him there. Come on. Don't fall in. It's, it's okay. He's right. You are Need to come down here where it's lower. Yeah, you want to come out here? There we go. Oh, he went on the side. Come over here. Come over here. Come, come on this side. Where it's a little bit lower. Yeah. Watch your hand. There's two all over here. You probably put your hand right in. No. Right there, there we go. Oh, oh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> High oh five. Wow. <laughs> High five. Oh my gosh. Nice. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Big Jeez. and ugly. Mom, what are you gonna do? Throw it back. <laughs> now that is a grass carp. It's got a good hook too. It's easy to get out. Get the thingies. Uh, can I see what your uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You gotta weigh that thing. Yeah, let me get there the scale. Yeah. Someone take a picture. I didn't bring my camera. Yep. You got a card? I just want me to get. Shoot, Junior. What? Bring Do you him. know where the weigher is in here? You mean the scale? <laughs> <laughs> the weigher. <laughs> you gotta wiggle it. You want me to help you? So big. I must say I've never seen a big carp like that pulled up here at Don Castro. So it's like it almost rivals uh, Christie's uh, carp that we caught at nighttime uh, using uh, the highlighter chicken. Uh, Junior caught his uh, with uh, corn. Essentially he came here and that's what he wanted to catch for the day. But he got his wish and he went ahead and pulled up a uh, six, what is it, 6.4 pound uh, carp. 
Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and fish for just a little bit more. I am on my last bait change. I had just placed uh, Captain America on my line because of the uh, sun uh, lighting change. And I got a hit, but he didn't commit. Uh, just a few more minutes and we're going to leave. Okay. Anyway, uh, again, happy Veterans Day. Uh, thank you for your service. And as always, come fish with us sometime. See ya.